This is uh, STI, our control system. Um, and it has just a simple star chart just for getting you started and finding bright objects. Um, you can use the sky or other planetarium softwares uh, to uh, talk to this if you want a much bigger database. Um, so you can control the telescope, move left to right, or even in both axes here. That moves both axes at once. You can do pan, uh, which is a slower rate, or you can use jog, which is right now it's going to move 10 arc minutes. So if I want to move 10 arc minutes in those two axes, it can move. Um, you can park the telescope. Here's a bunch of, there's a home. If you want to find its home switches, you can unpark, park. You can set your park position, or align it. Um, this allows you to reset the controller. There's more stuff here to give you information about high res encoders and the voltage and um, and continuing down. This is a chart. Let's see, down here's the PEC control for uh, equatorial mount or mount that has PEC. This, the CDK700 doesn't have any gears, so it doesn't need that. Okay. Um, and you can also do uh, run script. Now run script is our way of, if we want to do a, an automated modeling run, we can run, you can go here. So this window opens up, and this is a place where you can actually write a script in the window. It's and comparable with Orchestrate from... Uh, yeah, it, it's, well, well it's, it's a simpler thing because it's not... It is comparable, mm -hmm. but um, um, but kind of like if I wanted to set positions, if I wanted to set up a, a little tour for a show, you can easily yep. set that up in here, move it to a position, say, hey, save this position. Or what you can do is you can do a automated modeling run. So here we've chosen how many cal points do you want? I want 16 points. How, uh, how long is the exposure? Three seconds. Well, since we're in a show, we'll make it really short mm -hmm. and we'll do three by three binning. So it's real fast. It's kind of automatic modeling. Yeah. So then, and then you say make point XP run, and it's going to write a script now to do that. And then here it picks 16 points, kind of equidistant, okay. to optimize your model. Uh -huh. And if you did 32 points, then it'll put new positions. Yeah. You can set your horizon line. Wow. Um, this so sounds, this sounds good. Yeah. So then you go like this, and you press play, and now it'll move the telescope to position. I'm going to keep an eye on this. Mm -hmm. So you can see the telescope's moving to a position one, which is on this chart over here, too. So I think it's also in quarter app mode, so it may be going around the long way to get there. Yep. Okay, so there's the position one. And now it waits for the telescope to settle down. Now it takes an image. Okay. And we're using this in conjunction with Maxim DL. And it's taking the image. It's obviously not now. It's subtracting, doing automatic stuff to the image, and it didn't find any stars because we're in a show. Okay. Um, but otherwise, um, it finds the stars. It'll do iterations and move the window around mm -hmm. until it finds uh, the position. Okay. And generally, once you've got a couple stars, it finds it in one or two steps. So it's very, very mm. fast. So it's kind of automatic modeling. Auto so automatic you don't modeling. have to do anything else. Exactly. You just only switch on. You switch on. You 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 give it the first star, so it knows approximately where it is. Mm -hmm. And other than that, rotation doesn't matter. Scaling okay. doesn't matter. This is our new rotating coaster. Has a 40 pound instrument load capacity. 362 7.5 inch diameter rotator gear. Um, homing switches on both the rotation as well as the focuser. Uh, bolts directly to uh, all of our CDK products except for the 12.5 inch. Uh, of course, it's quite large for that. Um, and is fully controllable by the existing EFA kit just with a uh, firmware upgrade. This, on the prototype rotating coaxer, we have the 360 teeth that only allows us to go about uh, a degree and a half per second on the rotation. Uh, now the 700, uh, when it gets near the zenith, will need to rotate much faster than that. So we've modified the worm on the production ones uh, to have a double start, which means we can go twice as fast uh, with the same motor. So we'll be able to go about three to three and a half degrees per second uh, on the rotation. This is the uh, instrument rotator 
uh, as well as the Focuser software. Um, you can see here very simple controls for uh, jogging rotation uh, as well as jogging focusing. Here and here. Uh, go to positions are attained in the table below and can be entered for uh, various eyepieces, cameras, and stored, as well as rotation angles. Where you have bearings touching on either side to move in and out. This actually uses linear bearings and guide rods in three.